Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Four years ago, I was like many of you here today. I was interning with Feminists for Life, enjoying a great summer soaking up the atmosphere in DC, learning so much about feminist history and activism. I was so excited to return back to campus in the fall, fired up to help women on my own campus. Little did I know I would be one of those women. One night, four weeks into my senior year, I found myself staring down at the two tiny blue lines of my positive pregnancy test. I was 21, I was unmarried, I was a good student on a full tuition scholarship, and I was terrified. So I did what many pregnant students do. I went to my campus health center looking for help and for answers. The nurse there, who actually happened to be the director of the health center, told me she knew of nothing that could help me. Instead, she asked me how I would tell my parents, which is the one question you should never ask a pregnant woman, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> she sat in silence while I cried, eventually walking out on me to treat what she called the most urgent case of the day, a young man with a sore throat. That day I learned something. I learned that our college campuses are not equipped to handle the needs of women facing unplanned pregnancies. Feminists for Life knows that if women in college who are facing an unplanned pregnancy cannot find the resources and help that they need, they will turn to abortion or abandon their education and career plans altogether. We say, don't let pregnancy and parenting terminate in education. We've seen students change their campuses in dramatic waves. We've helped universities create on-campus solutions for pregnant women and parents. We've showed thousands of college students that being a feminist means being committed to nonviolence, non-discrimination, and justice for all. We've told students facing an unplanned pregnancy <clears throat> that they can refuse to choose between their education and their unborn child. Feminists for Life College Outreach Program offers student leaders like you the resources they need to mobilize their campuses in support of resources. And I know that suddenly, as a pregnant student, I not only believed in Feminist for Life mission, but I was living it. I was able to use the resources provided by Feminist for Life to not only help myself through my pregnancy, but also to change my campus for the women that would come after me. I hosted the first ever Feminist for Life Pregnant and Parenting Resources Fair. I created a university-sponsored Pregnant and Parenting Resources website changed school policies, donated money and supplies to student parents, and hosted a student support group for pregnant and parenting students. And now, as the College Outreach Program Coordinator for Feminists for Life, I can help each and every one of you transform your own campuses with women-centered solutions. We can start with assessing your campus for what resources and support it currently has. 